just another person that seems to be a key figure in this, in the mythology of this is Bob Lazar. It'd be interesting. Maybe there's others you can tell me about, but um, uh, Bob, who's also been on Joe Rogan, but his story has been told quite a bit. And he's got, I, th I think he said that he witnessed some of the work being done uh, on the spacecraft that was in, you know, that was captured and so on in order to uh, try to reverse engineer some of the technology in terms of the propulsion and so on. What are your thoughts about his story, how it fits into the mythology of this whole thing and the uh, broader ufologist, ufologist community? Okay, so regarding Bob Lazar, with respect to his claims, um, again, I have no way to adjudicate whether or not he actually, you know, encountered this. I do have friends who are. And the people that I know who know his story, some know him, um, believe him. And they have said to me that the most important thing that they think he has said, in fact, one of them, I think, made a <laughs> made a meme out of it or something like that was basically he said uh maybe the public you know i regret making it public maybe the public isn't ready for this kind of information and basically they've they emphasized that to me and they emphasized it so much that they wanted me to know right so that is somewhat creepy to me so i think okay this poor guy, Bob Lazar. <laughs> so many people, you know, this is what happens to people who have experiences like this. They're questioned, their reputations are put on the line. In some instances, their their reputations are manipulated on purpose to make them look uncredible. To me, as um, a scientist, it's just inspiring that it kind of gives this kind of I'm not even thinking of it. Is there an actual spacecraft being hidden somewhere and studied and so on? I'm thinking of it like, I don't know, it's a thing that gives you a spark of a dream, you know, to as a, a reminder that we don't understand most of how this world works. And then we can build technologies that aren't here today that will allow us to understand much more. And that it's kind of like almost like a feeling that it provides. And it inspires and makes you dream. That's that's the way I see the Bob Lazar story. I don't necessarily, like people ask me, because I'm at MIT, people ask me like, did Bob Lazar actually go to MIT and so on? I don't know, and I personally don't care. <laughs> like it's, uh, that's not what's interesting to me about that story. To me, the myth is more interesting, not interesting actually, but inspiring. Yes, because yeah. inspiring, you're suggesting that the myth inspires you to create reality. Yes. Yeah. I think that's that's true. So even if it's like not real, it doesn't also, matter, does it? <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, in some <laughs> yeah. sense, just like you said, it does. In some sense, it uh, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. 